So Rub the Nest is a game known around the world and it's an activity for any age or grade range. So you can play this game using bean bags to basketballs. Here's how you play. The aim of this game is to get as many balls to your base as possible. Now for this, you and your class are gonna need four to five different colored hoops. And you're also gonna need 10 or more different objects. So those could be large balls, small balls, bean bags, tennis balls, whatever balls and equipment that you have. To set up, you're gonna put all those balls in the middle of your playing area or sports hall, so there you can see them in a pile. And these are actually gonna be the eggs that you're trying to collect. You're then gonna put the four hoops, one in each corner of the playing area, and these hoops are gonna be the nests. So your teacher is gonna divide the class into four groups, and each group stands at one of those nests. So there's the blue group, red group, yellow group, and the green group, four teams. Now to play this game, remember the aim is to get as many eggs back to your base as you can before time is up. So when the teacher shouts go, one player at a time from each team runs to the middle, picks up an egg, and brings it back to their nest. You keep going one at a time from each team until all the eggs have been collected into the nests. Now, as soon as that happens, your teacher is gonna call out, rob the nest. And in this way, everyone runs and picks up another egg from anyone else's nests and brings it back to their team's nest. As soon as time is up and the teacher calls stop, the team with the most eggs in their nests wins. Now, a couple of quick rules we need to remember. You're not allowed to guard your nest, okay? So you can't stop other people from getting to your nest and taking the eggs. You have to run and get other people's eggs. And the second rule is that you can only pick up one egg or object at a time. You're not allowed to pick up two different things at once. Now the type of egg that you pick up changes the way you have to move with that egg. So if you pick up a soccer ball, you have to dribble it with your feet only, or if you have a basketball, you have to bounce it with your fingertips. If you pick up a bean bag, you gotta balance it on your head and bring it back to your nest. Or if you've got a large bouncy ball, you gotta put it between your legs and jump all the way back to your nest. Now your teacher, after a few rounds, might add in a defender or two. Now these defenders are gonna be angry birds and they're trying to stop everyone from stealing the eggs. So if you're running and you pick up an object or an egg from someone else's nests and you get tipped by one of those defenders or angry birds, you have to put that object back from where you picked it up and go and run to another nest. If you and your class want more awesome games like this one, make sure you check out my Kindy to Grade 2 pack, or I've got over 100 skills and games for you to choose from.